Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in um, for my dearest Libras. So we're going to check in on you and your current situation or the person that you're thinking about most. Um, before I do that, I want to give a shout out to my girl Melanie at Kismet Crystals Tarot. Um, she's got an amazing, beautiful Etsy shop where she has the best crystals and minerals. Um, which are all intuitively chosen. So really special stuff there, you guys. Um, you can also follow her on Instagram at Starseeds Tarot as well. All of that's in the description box um, if you want to check her out. Now, as I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And um, if you would like um, to leave a comment, please feel free to do so. And don't forget to ring that notification bell, okay? Let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see what messages come through for my dearest Libras. Messages for Libras, please. Ooh. Okay, we've got triangle. Oh, oh, Libras, what have you gotten yourselves into? Some of you, though, you have a choice, okay? So it's not necessarily like a third-party situation, but you may have a choice in love. It could be a past person and a new person, or maybe you guys are just dating around. All right, we've got friendship. Interesting. So some of you guys, somebody wants to come out of the friendship zone, or maybe you do. And we've got the Ice King. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius here. Interesting. It could also be your energy, Libra. And we also get control. All right. So what I heard here is, Libra, you are much more in control um, than you think you are. Okay. So remember that you always have the choice. You have the power to say no or to walk away from anyone or anything that isn't in alignment with you. All right. So I'm also seeing that it's important that you lean on your circle at this, on your inner circle at this time, um, that you do have a lot of support, not only in the 3D, but also in the spiritual realms, angels, spirit guides, um, passed on loved ones as well, who absolutely want you to be happy and enjoy this human experience, Libra. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with your, your overall energy with this situation. Okay, so we've got the Page of Swords. So this is somebody that, you know, you may not be in communication with someone at this point in time. Um, you might also have a lot of people watching you. I'm getting that with this Ice King. I'm not even getting that this is so much your energy, but somebody may not be talking or may have pulled back from you, um, Libra, because... Um, I mean, I hate to say it, but it is kind of like a power move. Um, and it now, again, it could be your energy as well, like put, taking your power back, pulling your energy back. Um, but there's definitely some spying going on here. Um, the way your person feels, the King of Cups. So this may be somebody who's definitely not showing their emotions, Libra. And I feel like it's this Ice King. It could be any sign, but I do feel like it's a heavy masculine energy. Again, this is not a gender specific reading, but this is somebody who's really holding back their emotions and they're watching, they're waiting. I feel as if they've done that because they started to either catch feelings for you. Maybe they knew that you had other options. Um, and this is, it's sort of like, um, I'm getting that this is like a power play, a power move. I'm not getting so far that this is something that's negative. It is slightly manipulative, but it's because this person wants to have success, but I'm not getting that it's manipulative in the fact that they're like gaslighting or they're, you know what I mean? They're doing anything really bad, but I think that they feel very, very strongly for you. And they're either somebody who has difficulty showing that again, it could be a friend. Okay. It could be a friend who's seeing that you get a lot of attention and they're not sure how to approach or, you know, I feel like they're trying to control their emotions they may be trying to control the situation they're seeing you as the nine of wands so this is a definitely you know they might feel or you do that this is a past life connection it could also just be a past person um, the nine of wands they're seeing you as somebody who's very courageous very strong this is a very sexy card um, the nine of wands is kind of a masculine energy but it's somebody who's been through a lot in love um, but it's also somebody who's taking a break. So you could be sort of, you could find yourself single at this time, Libra. And I feel like you're doing that. I feel like you're, you know, 
you're, you're getting out there, you're hanging out with your friends, but somebody is absolutely watching you. Okay. I like it. Um, hanged man energy could be dealing with a Pisces, um, but don't have to be. Um, but the hanged man energy is that there's some sort of enlightenment, somebody seeing you differently. Again, it could be somebody that you're friends with that maybe you are always sort of, you know, you're after or you have your eye on. Um, and I feel like you've either turned away or you've, you've kept your options open. And this person, this ice king, they're, they're looking at you, Libra. They're watching you. They're watching your social media. They're watching you at work or with your friends. And we get the lovers, Gemini energy. Wow, Libra. So there's an important choice to make. We see that. You may have more than one choice in love, but I do see this being a very, very strong soulmate connection here. So the three of swords, some of you guys, this is a past person and they're going to come in with an apology. But I do see that this person is really holding back Libra. Um, they're watching, they're waiting, they're spying. I don't think you would even know how this person truly feels with the Ice King and the King of Cups and that control energy. But I do feel like you can expect an apology. Some of you guys, you've tried to move on or you have moved on. So this is what's going to create a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a, not a problem, but a little bit of a, uh-oh, now I have to make a choice. All right, underneath there we have the Six of Cups. This is something that's created a, a bit of sadness. And Libra, I feel like many of you guys, you have you know sort of given up on this person. Um, you may have, they may have kept you waiting for quite some time, um, either to tell you how they truly feel or to offer an apology. This could be somebody who hasn't returned a message of yours in a while as well. Um, but they definitely are thinking about you. I want I saw that Three of Swords want to come out. This is something that I think has been heartbreaking for you, but I think also for them. But they're not quite showing it. So let's go ahead and see what other messages come through. Let's clarify. Why is this page of swords here? Although I know why, because they're watching you, Libra. You may not know that. Although you might, you know what I'm looking at her though, you know, she's got this look on her face. Like she's not quite looking, but she's kind of side eyeing. Like you might have an idea. You could be dreaming or thinking about this person. Like many of you guys know this person. You might have an idea. It's not going to surprise you that they're watching you. All right, let's go ahead and see why is this page of swords for Libra? Yep, the page of pentacles. Okay, somebody doesn't feel quite ready. Wow. Okay. So it's definitely possible, Libra, that you either lived with this person um, or you guys were sort of things started to get a little bit more serious with you, or at least that's the energy around this connection. I feel like they know that it's not going to be it's not going to be something casual. It can't because the connection between you guys is, is insane, right? So even if you guys are just friends, I do feel like this person is hesitant because they know deep down that you guys have either shared past lives or that this is not just going to be, you know, a one night thing. This is not something that they're going to be able to keep casual. Okay. And I feel like this is somebody who really likes to control their emotions and they're a little bit worried. Okay. So whether you had a connection with this person or not, they sense how powerful, your energy is and that you guys are really truly connected we have the 11 11 card coming out here so many of you guys you may be seeing that when you think about this person or when they're near or when they're in your energy so just pay attention to that so the king of cups in reverse so this person is feeling a little bit drained you know why i think they're also feeling a little bit drained because they think about you all the time and because they're guarded and because they're doing everything in their power to not show you how they really truly feel and it's almost like it's counter, it's like counterintuitive. It's counteracting the fact that they have such intense feelings for you. For some of you, they're worried that they've missed an opportunity or that they will. Um, because I do see with the three of swords, there's some sort of reconciliation. There's some sort of something that they regret or they have remorse for, whether that's not telling you how they truly feel, whether that's not asking you out, whether it's keeping you waiting. Yeah, they're definitely, there's a lot of conflict with this person. This person may have a lot of responsibilities. They may be somebody who gets quite a lot of attention. Um, and we see that with the triangle, it might be somebody who, you know, works in a place where a lot of people see them is what I'm getting. Like, you know, I know now, right now, I don't know how many people are like bartending, but they could be like behind a counter. They could be at a front desk. They could be bartending. Um, they could just be very visible. So I feel like they do get a lot of attention. Um, and I feel like they tried to sort of ignore their feelings for you, Libra, but they just can't. 
All right, so they're seeing you as the nine of wands, somebody that they really respect. I feel like they also put you up on a pedestal. They know that you've been through a lot. So again, this could be somebody you've known for quite some time. They also know that they've hurt you. They have regrets and remorse about the way they've treated you, or you know maybe they didn't respond to a message. Look at that, but they feel like you are their two of cups. They know that they love you. They know that you love them. They're seeing things differently. There's, and for some of you, this person is sort of, it's like they're, I feel like they're experiencing like karma. They're just feeling really drained. I feel like there's a lot of things that aren't kind of going right for them. So if this person ghosted you and you have no idea how they're doing, um, I do feel like they're going through a little bit of a difficult time here. Some of them they're reevaluating. Okay. They're seeing things differently with the hanged man. And I do feel like this is them reaching out after, you know, going silent or going cold. Yeah. This person feels alone, rejected without their dear Libra. They're looking up there. I feel like they feel like they've messed up badly. Mm -hmm. Knight of rods, but this is somebody who you have to be careful um, that they don't rush in and rush out, that they don't have one foot in and one foot out the door. Just make sure that, you know, they're not coming towards you, Libra, um, just because things didn't work out for them. Or, you know, if, if this was a third party situation, um, it may be that things aren't working out with them or with the other person. And for many of you, they're seeing, you know, they, they're seeing how they've mistreated you or they're seeing how, you know, what they've lost, what was in front of them the whole time. Okay. So Libra, for some of you guys, um, you may have moved on since this person okay but they have absolutely been keeping tabs on you um, but they also know that any sort of rekindling if that's even a possibility because I do feel like they're a little bit worried that you might reject them okay or you might ignore them or you might do do to them what they did to you um, I apologize about the background noise you guys so let's see why is this lovers here in the outcome position Ten of Wands. Some of them, they might be ending something to come be with you, um, or they might be asking you to end something to be with them. Interesting. And we get the Page of Cups. There's that apology. But Libra, I do want you to be careful of any sort of tales or you know um, stories that they come in to tell you, um, because you know the Page of Cups is somebody who's coming in to offer an apology, but they do have to come in correctly with the Three of Swords. I do feel like it's also important that you make sure you know what their intentions are before you get involved with this person for some of you you didn't have a relationship with this person okay it was somebody that was in your friend zone um, or it was somebody that you know somebody that you meet in the community or somebody that you may even work with or something like that so just make sure okay that you know that they have they've closed out other sort of situations that they don't have any loose ends because I do feel like this person with this control energy um, is somebody that likes to have things their way Okay, so just pay attention to that. We get the page of rods. Yeah, this person wants to come in. Um, they want to talk to you about... Well, I think many of you guys too, it's kind of weird. It might be somebody who's been sort of 3D focused in the past, Libra. I just got a weird message that, you know, for some of you, they've been looking up like soulmates or twin flames. They might even ask you about that, especially if they know that you, you know, lean towards the spiritual. Um, but I do feel like they're ending something to start something new with you. I love it. We get confirmation from my phone. But you do have to be careful because we don't see any kings coming out here. We see pages and we see knights. All right, and so Libra, you really do want somebody, well, I said that and then we get Ice King. I think there is potential for this person to be a king. They might be a boss or they might have a lot of responsibilities. But again, when it comes to this reading, everything out here is like page, page, night. Okay, page, 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 night. So it's, it's also like, just make sure... And the King of Cups is there as well, but he's in the reverse. So just make sure that this person just doesn't come in, um, you know, wanting attention or just because something else didn't work out. There is something here that needs to be talked about. There needs to be an heart, a heartfelt apology, but I do feel like actually many of you guys, you are going to get an apology or, you know, an outpouring of emotion, something that you're not quite expecting from this person. So you are safe and divinely guided. And we get, you've learned the spiritual lesson. Yeah, so those of my Libras who were involved with this person, um, you know, when we get the Ten of Wands and the lovers here, um, you're going to have to use your intuition, okay, and see whether or not, I mean, but with the lovers and the Two of Cups here, uh, many of you guys, you know, you're closing out a very difficult karmic cycle. Some of you guys are ready to move on and to leave this in the past, especially if they put you in a third party situation, okay? So do trust your intuition. Trust what they come in to tell you and how they do that, okay? Your true love is already a part of your life 
and one person is giving too much in this relationship. So I feel like Libra in the past, it was you that was, you know, even if you weren't in a relationship with this person, you were the one that was trying to get close to them, you know, um, you were the one doing all the work. For some of my Libras, you may have found somebody else, but I feel like this person's coming in and asking you to, you know, hey, just get rid of everybody else. I'm here, I want you. So I do feel like a little bit of ener um, um, an ego energy here with the control and the Ice King. Um, so it's gonna be up to you guys to decide, again, what happened between you guys. Um, I do feel like you have learned the spiritual lesson. So whether that's about healing and clearing karma so you guys can rekindle and start anew, or if that's you've moved on to somebody else, okay? Okay. Wait, the timing is not quite right, and this is a destined partnership. At the bottom of the deck, financial challenges are affecting this connection. Some of you guys, you might work with this person. Um, they could even be your boss, okay? So this person is waiting. This person is definitely seeing things differently. I feel like as they're waiting, Libra, you are completely up-leveling because you're in this nine, of, um, this nine of Wands energy, the Wounded Warrior. Um, I think you're doing the healing work and you're definitely, you know, you're no longer focused on if it was a third party situation or the sadness or, you know, the disappointment of things not quite working out. But, but what you need to know here is absolutely you guys were meant to be a part of each other's lives, whether that's just for, you know, a chapter or whether it's for a lifetime. Um, but do be careful that this person, you know, that they don't come in just with all about their own ego um, or just because something didn't work out with another connection or, you know, they're having difficulties and they just want to come in for, you know, with passionate energy. All right. So I am getting here. You're going to have to control and temper your emotions and your actions. Okay. So we get new love. So a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So some of my Libras, this is a past person. And that's kind of what I got here, here. And now some of you guys have met somebody that really is like, you know, or you're about to meet somebody that's new, somebody that, you know, is, it's a rest, it's reciprocity between you guys. And that's what this choice is. Like you have a choice between a new love and an old love. Okay. Or, you know, a, a past person and somebody new or recent, Okay, and some of you guys, you're going to choose the new person, okay, because, you know, because I feel like whatever happened between you and this past person, you recognize that you were giving too much, you were the one that was doing all the work. So for some of you, this is a reading of healing and closure. Yeah, some of you guys, they, they're watching you getting to know somebody else, and that's why they come rushing in. They might, I feel like a little bit of a jealous energy here. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we get worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Oh, you guys, I apologize about the, the background noise here. But divine, we get that twice. Wait, timing is not quite right. Um, so for some of you guys, this is what I'm seeing. Some of you guys, you're going to, you know, I think, interesting. Some of you guys, you have either moved on to somebody else or you're keeping things light. You're playing the field. You know, you're dating around. Um, but you're also holding space for this person to come back in because you can intuitively feel that they want to come rushing towards you, but they have to come at you correct, Libra. All right. And I think there's a little bit of manipulation, but like in a good way on both parts. Like I think many of you guys, you know that they're watching you or, you know, you know that, you know, getting out there and having fun and enjoying life and enjoying this human experience is that you're up leveling. And this person is finding that extremely attractive, but they also know that they have some apologizing to do. Okay. Or they've got to make up for, you know, what they did or they didn't do in the past in order to win you back. Okay. So my heart is yearning for you. Yeah. So I think some of you guys, this person is getting a little bit jealous because they're seeing that you're getting a lot of attention, Libra. I'm learning to open my heart. So we see that King of Cups, this person, it's not easy for them to show that show emotions. And so, you know, you guys might have, you know, this person may not have taken the time to get to know you in the past. Okay. And they may not have let you in very much. And we get parts of me are broken. I'm afraid I might hurt you if I show you them. Wow. So again, Libra, that's going to be up to you. How much work you want to put into this? Are you willing to wait for this person? Because I do feel like this person, they they want to come rushing in, but at the same time, it's like they don't know how to do that. All right. Or they still want to remain in control. And it's like, there's something here they have to tell you. They really have to open up and that's not going to be easy for them. I regret walking away. Mm-hmm. 
because they didn't see what they had right in front of them and sometimes I feel like you want too much from me. So I do feel like, I don't feel like Libra this was you. Um, you know, don't feel like this was you wanting too much from them, but I think they knew that this is a very strong soul connection. Many of you guys, this could even be a twin flame because there's, uh, there's the four of wands, the lovers, the two of cups. Those are all extremely important soulmate connections, lovers connections, twin flame connections. I feel like this person, again, they're a little bit scared. Yeah. And, and it's like, sometimes I feel like you want too much from me because they're not used to opening up. They're not used to opening up and they can feel the intensity of this connection. It doesn't mean that's an excuse for bad behavior though, right? All right, Libra. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.